Okay, di sini. Okay. Okay, selamat ya. Okay, chapter 5, Propeller Ice Protection. So, do you know what is ice? Uh, you can you can see here, my cursor here. Uh, so, on the leading edge of the blade, they are snow lah. Eh. Biasa kita tak ada snow in our place, in our country. But then, this is during the altitude lah. When you are flying high, high altitude meaning your temperature will be dropped. So, imagine eh, negative 20 degree Celsius uh, is like, they akan ada accumulate with ice lah, accumulations eh. Most of this happen kalau on the ground. This is on the uh, country before season lah. Uh, this is during winter lah actually. Winter very very high, high and uh, no, it's not high. High temperature is low temperature lah. It's like um, really like freezing point something like that eh? in Germany, in France, in France something like that. So before we start our ice protection, so you so this is like revisions lah type of ice huh? I think you have learned this in previous semester about ice so when or where ice is likely to occur so you think oh, this is your ground lah on this uh, the, green, the green area eh? okay the green our ground so you think oh, eh, as high altitude that achieve huh? very high altitude okay you can see the temperature will be dropped so let me so mana I punya ni sebenarnya I punya pen tak ada oh my god ok never mind so you can see my cursor lah mm, ok so 0 degree celsius kita tak pernah eh Malaysia we don't have this 0 degree celsius lah in our ground eh. uh, at least in UK pun I pernah uh, I experience about negative 2 ya yeah negative 2 deg degree itu pun there is no snow or ice ok dia macam masuk freezer yang there is no ice something like that so what happened here mm, just uh, get you the idea how is ice or where is ice is likely to occur so you can see here uh, like negative 15 degree negative eh? negative 15 degree so some icing thread lah eh? Okay, this is maybe around negative 15, is, is maybe around, I don't know, maybe 10,000 or 20,000 feet lah. Okay. And then ice cloud, no ice in thread. Sometimes when you're further up, very cold, eh, negative 40, sometimes there, the, there is no ice because there is no water. Okay. You need water to be icing, something like that. Eh? Droplet, something like that. Okay, this is the idea lah. So, cause of ice, what cause icing? Okay. So, super caused by super cool liquid. Like I said earlier, you have not the liquid water droplets. Okay, strike the leading edge of an airfoil. You have the idea why is leading edge, huh? Of an airfoil, which is of aircraft. Do you know as the wing, mm, the tail? Huh? We call it horizontal stabilizer, and the propeller itself, the radome, something like that. Freeze of impact. For icing to occur, the aircraft must be fly through visible water, such as rain or clouds droplet. Okay, that's why ice will be occur. So that te the temperature at the point where the moisture strike, the aircraft must be zero degree Celsius or cold. Eh, kita punya country tak pernah lah panas lah. Eh? Okay, unless you be in high altitude lah, uh, in Himalaya ke something like that. Eh? So probably there is ice lah. I think it's Kyoto Kinabalu. Uh, sorry, Gunung Kinabalu pun. It's a very cold lah. Eh? On the peak, 4,000 meters. Yeah, sometimes it has ice lah. Okay. So, we go to type of ice. So, we have glazed ice. Okay. So, uh, glazed, we refer it as a clear. Okay. Glazed ice. Glazing eh clear or another term is hard glossy and heavy okay very thick huh? okay the remaining you can read lah. okay i just want to have the idea lah to just refresh back what kind of ice what type of ice we are talking about 
So this is what I meant is clear icing or glazed ice. So it's very clear. It's accumulate on the leading edge lah normally. Eh. Okay. So we disturb your A flow eh, here. Okay, large droplets in cumuliform clouds, freezing rain or terrain effects. Eh. Some example. Okay, clear ice. So glaze is like very thick something like that. Next, rhyme ice. Okay, just now we go to glaze. This is rhyme. Rhyme has irregular shape and rough surface. Okay, it is, it is like brittle and frost like. Eh? Like snowy, something like that. Eh? Siapa yang suka makan ice cream yang dekat banting tu, dekat, dekat Starbucks tu. I don't know. Apa dia, shave shave ice, something like that. Eh? The shave ice things. Eh? Melampau-lampau harga daripada ABC. Okay, satu ABC bawah tiga ringgit Dia dah berbelas-belas ringgit Yang you all suka makan lah eh Okay That's the idea lah Ram ice nah, It's a brittle and frost light And lighter than glazed ice Okay ah, This is nothing This is just for explanations So this is the rhyme ice lah Okay yeah, So like snowy right? Snowy Something like snowy ah, Macam tu You all suka makan kan Haa ah. Okay, rhyme ice lah. It's like thin, thinner than glaze. So, we have another. The third one. Glime. It's a mix. Eh? Glaze and rhyme. So, we call it glime. Okay. Mixture of glaze and rhyme. Okay, glime is a hard, rough mixture which can form rapidly. Okay. Glime ice forms when raindrops vary in size. Or when a liquid drops a mix with snow or ice particle. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Something like this, huh? With the glaze, with the rhyme, something like that. It's only the edge, lah. Really the edge. Now we move to ice protections. You have the idea why it's ice, huh? Ice protections to prevent or remove ice formation on propeller blades during flight. When ice allowed to remain on blades, what happen? Efficiency of the airfoil be lost. Okay, reduce. Okay, what happen next? Propeller becomes heavy. Okay, you add weight. The ice will add weight to the propeller. You don't want that actually, and develop an an out of balance conditions. Okay, our balance thing we learn in chapter six. Huh? this is. Propeller maintenance And then what happens Generate vibration and damage To the engine and airframe Okay So last week we had gone through about vibration The propeller synchroni synchronizing Okay It's about reduce vibration and reduce noise Okay for ice We don't want this ice to generate Vibration because of Out of balance conditions Okay Anti-ice, okay, ice protection system. There are two, anti-icing and de-icing. You know uh, what is anti-icing? Okay, to prevent the formation of ice. The term used to describe continuous heating or protection of a component. Anti-ice, huh? So how about de-icing? Use where components are cleared. Of ice formation Maksudnya Ice will be formation We allow ice to accumulate Allow to build up eh? And then we Clear uh, clear the ice Okay Normally we use Cyclic method This is uh, norm, uh, Normally we use Electrical uh, Intermittent heating And cool Allow ice to form During heat Of period The temperature rise During time heat On and ice that form on surface is more easily melt. Okay, the icing, electrical the icing, you have done your practical. Okay, you know what is cyclic method? We have cyclic timer. Okay, that's the idea first. Huh? Nanti we see what happen next. Huh? Remember anti ice and the icing. They are two same huh? for the aircraft icing system. Let's see what's the video all about. Is anti ice lah actually. It's applied like some of liquid from here is spread through of the all of the surface. Huh? Yeah, I made for.
course fast forward okay it's right spray about the alcohol fluid I will show you why they use alcohol okay why not use another fluid oil ke okay why so Lufthansa Lufthansa is based in Germany <coughs> that's kind of spray they use like this kind of machine lah. Uh, because it's large aircraft okay gets the idea here okay this is like one kind of anti-ice anti-ice when you treatment lah. okay okay we move forward effect what is the effect of propeller icing produce eh, loss of propeller efficiency okay propeller imbalance okay imbalance mean not balance out of balance you don't want that okay and then destructive vibrations we don't want this vibration for the whole flight eh? like I uh, explained earlier in chapter 4 okay you flew maybe it's uh, what you call it a firefly from Subang let's say to Terengganu, Kelantan or Kuching all the way do you want to have the vibrations ok you don't want that lah ok it's like roller coaster the whole for 2 hours or 1 hour it's like it's not a passenger a comfort lah ok so the system ok uh, fluid or liquid ice protection system they are two normally discussed in the notes one is fluid or liquid ice protection system and another one is electrical de-ice system so first we go through fluid ice protection system so liquid or fluid ice protection system can be used as both anti-ice or de-ice system so liquid when we are talking about liquid what kind of liquid they use isopropyl alcohol it's used in some anti-icing system why they use isopropyl alcohol okay this is the liquid kind of liquid that can stand high uh, high freezing point meaning let's say example okay uh, i have a friend a non-muslim friend okay uh, my foreigner friend huh? back to my in uk huh? as students there so what happened is that alcohol uh the liquor uh, the alcohol when you start the alcohol the liquor inside the freezer okay it's not in the normal fridge the freezer uh, we are talking about freezer uh, frozen okay freezer uh, freezer and about the what we call it what we call it are uh, the alcohol or liquor it will not become ice that's the idea they use alcohol uh, it's not normally will be froze something like that okay meaning um nanti be try lah it's not bukan you all lah eh uh, non muslim yang 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 biasa kan yang apa ni mm, like cows bird something like that so you try store inside the freezer so you will uh, that's why i mean that they have like high freezing point uh dia akan freeze but not Bukan macam air biasa lah Not like normal ice Something like that uh, Okay That's special about alcohol eh? Isopropyl alcohol For this kind of system We use isopropyl alcohol mm -hmm. Okay uh, So how it uh, Operates It's designed to project A film of fluid Over the surface of the blade I think Okay To reduce freezing point Okay For example You can project the alcohol Will be here Okay I think yeah, we will we will learn how it's uh operates later on. Okay, this advantage. Okay, remember you use fluid, ah, huh? you use fluids uh or liquid, ah. Huh? So several components add weight to the aircraft. Okay, and then number two, the duration of anti-ice operations. Okay, available is confined to the amount of fluid on board. Meaning, let's say the fluid amount of fluid, it seems like it works for your normal windscreen for the for your car lah. You have your water, 
for windscreen ah air untuk wiper tu so kalau habis in certain time you tak top up eh? you don't you don't top up the fluid the isopropyl alcohol so one time you you fly and then no, suddenly you you don't realize you just realize oh my tak tak isi rupanya eh there is not enough fluid lah on board okay that's why you see here the duration of anti ice operation available is confined to the amount of fluid on board Okay, number one. And number two, the rate of fluid is discharged. Meaning, okay, sometimes kita, kita call it, kita guna a kind of pipe, eh, nozzle. Nanti kita akan go through, eh, what is the component involved for this kind of fluid, uh, fluid assist, uh, ice protection, eh. The rate of fluid discharge, meaning sometimes it will be sumbat, tak keluar langsung. Kadang-kadang you punya, uh, the nozzle, it's too large and then amount of fluid the rate of fluid will be too much okay sometimes too little too much too little sometimes there's no fluid at all okay disperse okay that's the, the disadvantage of this kind of fluid ice protection lah okay what i mean here is that they are discharge pipe so the alcohol will disperse from here it's like wiper system lah for your car okay we have slinger ring we have palm eh? and then we have overshoe this is what we call overshoe ok overshoe is like a rubber type in, in black in colour consists of strip or rubber or plastic material this is what we call overshoe nanti kita akan tengok the real photo ok propeller fluid ice protection system that is the idea ok what component involved we have tank normal tank eh? ok this is your gauge to indicate how much the fluid inside the tank so what kind of fluid isopropyl alcohol ok and then we have pump this is a filter ok normal filter functions ok to remove any particles ok any any ni lah to filter out lah eh, uh, the isopropyl alcohol before to the pump eh. you don't want to damage the system eh. the pump and the, to the system here lah to sumbat apa that is the function of filter here eh and then we have fluid pump and then we have real start ok and then we have switch here so like this here in the cockpit and then we have slinger ring uh, slinger ring is famous lah for this fluid ice protection system it's like U shape when you have pipe that kind of thing we go through what is slinger ring means and then we have fluid fit shoe ok this is the rubber type in black in colour I think we can go through all this is the tubing ah, piping ah, ok so start in the tank so this is like the example of the tank here ok ok so the fluid we pass through a filter like I said earlier to filter any unwanted particles ok and then next go through the electrical supply pump controlled by a switch ok you you on the switch on the pump and then it will suck off the flux, uh, fluid eh go to the slinger ring this is what we call it it's kind of uh, anti-ice discharge nozzle after slinger ring it goes through pipelines ah. this is the tubing here anti-ice discharge nozzle nanti nanti I tunjuk lagi apply the fluid along the leading edge ok this is what I call it propeller anti-ice discharge nozzle and blade boot this is the blade boot lah uh, shoes apa tadi nama tadi fit, fit shoe boleh boot boleh ok this is the discharge nozzle here so they disperse the, the part the what you call it the, the alcohol we go through pass through here ok you can see my cursor mm, and then go to the discharge nozzle so the fluid or the alcohol will be dispersed here ok why is rotate ah? I can see where is my pen tak ada pen kat sini punya so when it's rotate ok rotate you know what happen propeller rotate we call it centrifugal force ok my centrifugal force you know what centrifugal force means to pull the blade out of so meaning so when one is rotate the fluid disperse you yeah, can go through along through the blade ok so that's why you kat sini je ok ok slingering again discharge discharge pipe tadi you nampak ni discharge pipe discharge nozzle or discharge pipe is same thing huh? slinger ring is a u-shape okay nozzle u-shape type piping eh? 
Dia adalah function dia Kenapa you, dia, dia you shape light oh, Something like that Okay For each blade Dia ada discharge pipe or nozzle And then split supply from pump eh. Again you nampak lah pipe sini Discharge pipe eh Nozzle tadi Tadi yang nampak kat sini Nampak this is from the view of side view This from the front view Okay you duduk sini Okay from front you can see a little bit of a nozzle Kat sini Sini Okay That's what we call ice protection A fluid type So you When you come to the aircraft This aircraft Oh they have like uh, Ice protection system Fluid Fluid uh, Ice protection system lah Okay Next Fluid Ice protection system Finish And now we move to Electrical The ice protection system You have done this practical In our hangar In our lab So electrical device So the electrical you know It's totally used electrical It's switch on only And then the electrical will flow up To the components involved There's no fluid There's no add weight Okay So you know, there's no concern for How many rate of discharge Okay How many fluid is left Okay In the tank So there's no tank Okay that is the comparison Okay Normally the fluid Uh system ni, ok, the fluid ice protection system is used in all the aircraft lah eh. uh, small small G, GA lah general aviation aircraft ok, electrical the ice protection system which is nowadays most of the turboprop use ok, use of most turboprops made of resistant wire heater element attached in rubber ok, in the boot area lah ok Cement from root to two third of blade length along a leading edge. Okay, then we can go through this. What is meant about this point number two and point number three? Last one, wire wire guards to protect the rubber from small light stone damage and erosion. Okay, next slide. Okay, this is the components involved First, in the control panel here In the cockpit You have load meter Same, M meter Also called load meter Sama, M meter This is the bus This is electrical punya lah Part lah Bus Okay, the bus system Circuit breaker Ah, uh, You nampak That's why I said uh, I asked you what is the But punat-punat tu kan Ada 20M, 5M That is the circuit breaker lah Switch Okay It's all inside the cockpit The bus is in the avionic bay area lah eh? The bus ni Okay to provide power source lah <coughs> Okay shunt Shunt is like a resistor something like that lah. So this is another bus Okay Bus bus ni all in avionic bay Okay the icing power circuit breaker or limiter Okay power relay This all electronic electrical stuff Okay relay relay ni normal lah And then So it goes through to the ah Timer or cycling unit Okay To the propeller To the other pair of blades If they have like two or more Propellers huh? So it goes through the relay One to go to the relay Another relay go to this brush Brush to the ah, Apa ni Slip rings okay Slit rings, slit rings will rotate So it will supply electrical To the heating elements of the blade Okay, we'll see the real picture lah I hate this many diagram diagram ni Diagram ni kind of This not for electrical avionic guy lah uh, I'm not that kind of person lah But I know lah, I can read lah the components Okay Um. So uh, Just for reminder This kind of figure This is the favorite questions your exam The question will be asked Draw The system for fluid ice protection system Which the components involve The function for each components And how it operates So get ready lah Okay So this is like the, the keyword lah Stock in the tank The fluid or the alcohol Isopropyl alcohol Stock in the tank Okay, the liquid will be passed through the filter This the idea lah Okay, never mind Nanti the same, no, actually I, Apa yang inside, written inside the notes Already I show inside the slide here 
the plus with the clear photo lah ok this is the the rear photo so we have a slip rings brush and blocks eh? figure 5 there's 7 wait why my 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 phone keep ringing hold on please all the times the boss will be requesting things huh? they don't care you have plus or not so uh, brush block we have slip ring okay slip ring it's rotate, uh, rotate, uh, rotating part huh? slip rings and then this br brush block is attached to the stationary huh? fix huh? attached to the body of the aircraft uh, body huh? ni? Uh, engine now, eh? engine engine casing so that, that. Okay, slip rings and brush block when attached together will produce current go through for this. Kita ada nampak ni sini, uh, wire, kind of wire here, right? Uh, okay, to the heating element of this, over boot lah. Over boot, over shoe, boot, something like that. It's called same lah. It's rubber, okay, black in color and then underneath is the heating element. Okay, that's why it cover up lah. Okay, what we have here, okay, wires from slip ring to over boot. Yeah, this kind of, you can see my cursor here. Mm -hmm. Then brush block Okay this is the brush block Okay you know, can nampak dia attached actually uh, This is slip ring Okay it's like P-ring Something like this This lah it's like this shape lah So uh, you can we call it When you touch together so it produce current And then it flow from here The wire here and then goes to the uh, Overboot Or uh, heating element on the overshoe Overboot something like that Same what is this? Okay, this inboard and outboard. That's why uh, if you remember when you're doing the practical, you can see inboard LED. Eh? LED, the LED that ada four LED installed at the lab trainer. So it indicate inboard and outboard because intermittent. You remember the first part I shared earlier. Okay, so we have inboard. It's intermittent, cyclic timer. Okay, you cannot the whole part of this overshoe the boot here. You cannot continuous tak boleh lah not continuous heating no because it's provide a very high current that's why it's used intermittent ok 30 second in inboard element and then it can off and then next 30 second it can outboard element pula akan heat up ok that is the meaning of intermittent okay? or cyclic timer lah they use cyclic timer so this inside the Anti ison. Okay, this is inside the what you call it. I just want to show lah what is the looks like the knob or the switch. Huh? It's like switch something like that. Okay. Okay, electrical ice protection turbo prop. Again, I remind you works on cyclic principle. So the current flow, the automatic time switch. Okay, if any uh or the aircraft have propeller blade, spinner and intake lip. Yeah, this all engine part lah. Spinner. You know what is spinner, right? And then intake lip, okay? Sometimes it have like the electrical ice protections eh, and turbo prop. So each part will be continuously heated, intermittent or cyclic principle. They will heat up the blade first. Next goes to spinner. Next goes to intake lip. Okay? You cannot, cannot all these things cannot continuously heat up because of our uh, a very high current uh, supply no we don't want to damage your components okay method ensures the ice area do not turn to water and flow backwards to freeze again and unheated train edge okay also conserve electrical power okay because you, you want to use electrical power at another area in the aircraft actually okay when we are talking about cyclic timers there are two speeds Okay, please remember this. 
to speak to use under different ambient temperature components okay first is fast cycle second is slow cycle so when to use fast cycle use at temperature negative 6 until 10 degree celsius okay Me meaning what kind of condition here it's a little bit warmer lah negative 6 to 10 degree yeah kalau kat UK ni bagi 10 degree ni slide macam aircon dalam bilik lah ok 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 je so uh, we use slow timer ok use at temperature negative 6 and below negative 20 degree or negative 40 degree I have UK pun normally negative 5 not more than negative 10 Poland I went to Poland before this negative 20 hmm so they use slow lah because of why so, maybe the ice will accumulate very very what you call it, very thick lah ok compared to this degree ok fast and slow cycle lah. lagi ni tak ada ni heating element lah ok this cowling area intake lip operation is indicated by flashing light green or blue or an emitter ok remember last time you, you akan ada nampak emitter ok and then you nampak ada what you call it LED flashing lights huh? uh, we are not use green and blue lah we use the red that is the what we have uh, ada lah dekat training lab huh? next certain aircraft have face test switch yeah they can test nanti I show you uh, I rasa ada kot nanti gambar test Oh, tak ada the pilot can or the what you call the maintenance can have a face test switch that enable operator to check the current drone ok you can check the current drone lah say so normally you have to hit this green arc here ok ok you must fluctuate lah ok this is inboard section again close to the root area is inboard ok further further away is outboard hmm. so jangan blur lah inboard and outboard tu lah jangan menggarut lah jawab nanti eh. inboard and outboard section so again uh, ice cumulate here so agaknya apa ni type of ice ni glime or rime or glaze ke both I don't know maybe glime lah very thick here then kind of snowy maybe mix ok how the ice electrical system operate rapid heating and cool meaning the on and off lah on for 30 second and then off for 30 second goes to another area so thin layer of ice form remember this is the ice lah so it can it can form ice on propeller blade which is the boot lah insulator and then the ice layer melts the thin, uh, thin layer of ice dispersed by CF CF is centrifugal force and AF aerodynamic, aerodynamic force something like that okay. when you melt up the ice so the thin layer of ice will be dispersed ok, dia akan pecah remember this is during flight so when the propeller is rotating so the ice will dispersed lah the power transferred from blade to engine intake by cyclic timer ok tadi I explain to you lah so this leading edge blade rapidly cool ok once it's transferred to engine intake ok so the blade will be cool lah off lah ok electrically heated boot ok this area lah ada heating element spinner bug head ok you know when you do the removal installations then we have slick ring assembly this slick ring like this huh? like this design huh? this one and then brush ok there are number of brushes here attached to the uh, what you call the electrical punya wiring here lah. brush huh? so switch electrical power carried to propeller blade and spinner by a brush block box huh? So tadi ni the brushes here lah So we'll go through for the spinner and go to the ni. Contains several carbon brushes Okay 
Sometimes two carbon brush Okay, three Tengok Depends on the aircraft Spring load To contact slip rings huh? Dia akan ada spring load On the rear plate Of the prop hubs Carry Current carry to blades By cable Ya yeah, Normal lah Wire Wiring To blade roots So what happened here This ampere Okay you know ampere is current flow Then this slow speed Fast speed remember when we use slow speed uh, Slow speed when heavy icing lah Example glazed ice Fast speed light, light icing Which is uh, normal weather condition lah Negative 6 to 10 degree So normally it's rime ice lah Light icing So here what we can see here Amperes we fluctuate this current flow so it will be supplied current about how many ni berapa 0 degree eh 0 is 0 second sekejap ya slow cycle ah, sampai ada lah and then this is a intake cyclic ok in the engine area and then the off for how many second here and then dia akan fluctuate the current will flow through the propeller and spinner so for uh, like slow speed berapa ni uh, 90 90 second lama and then 20 25 to be done so 30 second fast speed lah 30 second we hit up for this propeller and spinner and then it will be off so you yeah, can back to the A, A intake cyclic that is what we call it cyclic cycle lah. cyclic timer so manual override air relay in case ah huh, what happen hmm um, manual override you know what is manual override means when the pilot or normal normal operation is not you, when you are dealing with uh, electrical sometimes you have kena ada override okay sometimes maybe the 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 manual system the what i call it the normal system got problem eh maybe ada some kind of relay blown up ke Okay, what uh, component uh, ataupun wire putus wiring cannot attach or something like that lah when you're willing the electrical we can add override lah system eh so this is what we mean by override system okay so this is manual meaning there is normal auto prop the eye sometimes something happen here problem occurred so you have override really meaning that you have uh, another maybe another switch something like that eh? another switch to operate this Okay, sometimes you are doing flight, so the normal operation for the eye system is not operate. Something problem. Okay, maybe wire putus kat sini ke. Okay, maybe there is no nothing happens, so you have to have override relay. Ni. So override. So to make sure the eyes, the eye system is functioning. You don't want to. Uh, you do not. You do not have any problem lah during flight. Actually, that's why they have manual override relay. So meaning when relays are not energized, when there is no current flow, so you must you must have this manual relay. Okay, so current flow through brush riding on slip ring, so normal operation lah take place lah. Okay, then heat element bonded to the propeller blade is normal lah nanti. Slip ring are uh, connected to heat element and then allow blade to change the pitch angle something like that. Okay, ini gambar cantik sekali gambar tak cantik ini gambar dalam note ini. So this proper lah. Left manual override override relay this for left hand prop. Is it? Let's get the let's get I thought it's good me. Prop ammeter, you know. Right hand manual, manual prop the ice control. Ah, so you know lah later on, okay. Okay, video. Let's see the video. What it's all about. Oh, hang on, I mean, okay. In this lesson, we will look at how engine propellers are protected from the effects of icing. Ice. Formation on a propeller blade produces distortion to the aerofoil section, causing a loss in efficiency and possibly causing unbalance, which can lead to destructive vibration. The buildup of ice must be prevented. And this is usually done by electrically heating the propeller blades. Because of its thickness and lower speed, 
the inner third of the propeller blade is most susceptible to icing and is always de-iced. In some installations, the middle third is also de-iced. The outer third of the blade is not so susceptible to icing and is not normally de-iced. The electrical heating elements are usually fitted in components known as overshoes or boots. The construction of the overshoes varies between propeller types. In a common installation, the heating element wires are interwoven with glass threads, which form a glass cloth base, which is cemented between sheets of rubber. A protective guard of wire gauze is cemented beneath the outer rubber covering. The overshoe is shaped to fit around the blade leading edge and is cemented to it. In the case of turbine engine propellers, the cover over the pitch change mechanism, or the spinner as it is known, may also have electrical heating elements embedded in it. Again, same spinner, heating element. Depending on the type of aircraft, the electrical power for heating the elements is either direct or alternating current. These systems consume a relatively high amount of electrical power. However, they are controlled by employing a cyclic timer, which will de-ice the propeller blades of one engine at a time, thus reducing the power requirement. In some installations, a power relay is fitted in the engine nacelle. It allows the length of heavy high current wiring to be kept to a minimum, with light cable being used in the control circuit. In turbo propeller engine installations, the propeller heating circuit may form part of a power unit de-icing and anti-icing system, with the cyclic control being integrated with the engine air intake heating circuit. The power required for heating is conveyed to the elements via cables, slip rings and by brushes contained within a brush block housing. Slip rings and brushes are components used to transfer electrical power from a stationary part to a rotating one. They are fully explained in the electric system series of lessons. In icing conditions, during the unheated period, a thin film of ice will build up on the leading edges of the propeller blades. Before this film builds up sufficiently to interfere appreciably with the aerodynamic characteristics of the blades, the cyclic control applies heating power. The ice in contact with the blade surfaces melts, breaking the bond between the ice and propeller blade. The remaining ice is then carried away under the action of centrifugal and aerodynamic forces. That is the end of the lesson on propeller ice protection. You should now know that electrical propeller de-icing is usually done cyclically, and that on turbo propeller type aircraft, it may be integrated with the engine ice protection system. Okay? So I think this is my